All right, what's good, Hot Squad? This is your man, Tars Hot, back into it. Welcome back to another weekly dose of Hot Banger Reacts. So, hope you had a great weekend. It actually was holiday weekend for me because I was off Monday, yesterday. And finally, I have a new Hot Banger React week, y'all. Um, by the way, if you've not seen my post, I'm gonna have to make some different changes of what I upload. Instead of eight, I was gonna do eight, but my last class started last Wednesday, so I'm doing only six each week. I'm doing only six, so it could be more easier for me. So, like, if I do like three recaps, three trailers, or just two recaps, or one chart to laugh, then you know how it is. But either though, if, if something important comes up, I'll add another one for the whole bit. But yes, I'm gonna do only six, only six whole big reacts each week from this point forward until December my semester ends. So Hot Squad, going back to Hot Banger Reacts this week. So today, only today, y'all, I have Cool Uno 9's recap of Deadpool Wolverine. This just dropped about last week, and I got a chance to you know download it today. So on the Tuesday. So thankfully I got a chance to do it because hey, it's like, hey, why not? Cool Uno did a Deadpool World recap. Might check it out, see it. Cause last one I saw was actually a 713 Kids, Rich Kids, Deadpool World recap. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. And I think it's, yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. Cause I did a lot of freaking recaps, you know, throughout this channel. So it's too much to count. <laughs> so yes, Hot Squad. So without further ado, we're going to watch Cool 109's Deadpool World Recap. This is going to be the only Heartbanger Recap I'm going to do for today and then tomorrow and Thursday. I'll continue on for Heartbanger Reacts because, you know, I'm a little tired, so I'm going to get through this today. It's so, called Spark. Whatever do, let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Do you know how long I've been waiting for this? this? It's finally time to do Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's <laughs> get it. So my man Wade Wilson is in Logan's universe at Big Bro's burial site. And he's over here trying to dig up Logan because he's like, ain't no way you died, bro. You're immortal. We <laughs> twinsies for real. <laughs> I need this biggest of bro. They finna boom my universe and my shorty don't look me no more. I need to show her I can save the universe so I can stand on something. <laughs> I mean, look at me, dawg. It looked like I got thrown in a wood chipper when I was born. <laughs> I don't even know how I got Vanessa to stay on my ass this long. So Wade starts digging up Logan's corpse. And to nobody's surprise, brother is cooked. Yeah, I mean, but bro is dripped out, bro. I just dripped out. Skeleton is crazy, man. Who was messing with Wolverine in the drip department? Cause nobody else is doing it like him for real. <laughs> but while Wade's chopping it up with dead ass Logan, the TVA pull up on his ass. And they over here getting ready to put the pots and pans to the dog. They over here telling bro to drop his weapons. But Wade is like, hold on. I'm not going to drop my weapons. But I'm not going to use the bows either. <laughs> nope. As it's oh, forgive me if I'm looking at the camera. I know I'm, I'm trying to get this camera not try to get so dark. So I'm just fixing my exposure setting. So hopefully it's turned out good. Ass flips over this tree with Logan's dead ass body. And he's getting ready to beat the goofy out of these boys with another nigga's dead ass body. And I don't gotta say it, bro. Y'all have already seen this movie already, but this probably top five greatest movie intros all yes. time. Yes. I can't play Hell any yes. actual audio or YouTube's gonna break my kneecap. <laughs> yeah. That boy Deadpool was jigging. But yes. my man Deadpool starts breaking off Wolverine's rib cage, and he starts throwing these holes at the TVA agents. And I'm not gonna lie, if I just saw my homie get boomed in the head with an adamantium rib cage piece, I'm giving up right there. Like, hey, you know what, Deadpool? You got it, big dog. My fault. I don't even know what we thought we was gonna accomplish here. But it didn't stop with just one because Deadpool is piecing these boys up. And look at what he did to bro right here. He cooked his friend, parried the staff, went behind us to stab him in the side of the head, but he wasn't finished because he kicked the bone through to the Ooh. other side of dog's head. Damn. He got too much sauce, bro. If y'all didn't give up before, y'all should have gave up with that alone. Then Wade starts using Logan's skull and spine like a ball and chain, just straight giving these boys me. <laughs> like, really thinking about it, if we really deep it, is this not crazy? Yes. And then dogs start doing a dance routine on the ops' graves? I know TVA agent mm -hmm. number 47 is looking at this in bewilderment. Like, ain't no way bro just killed my nigga Tom and he just started emoting on his <laughs> brain. It's not like this is some ass dance or anything. This nigga is hitting that. Bye, bye, not bye. Like that, but he's smacking niggas on beat to the song using their own weapons against them. Listen, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this adamantium got buffed. Cause ain't no way he threw that big ass bone like that and it went through bro's chest like a bullet. He did not throw that hole fast enough for it to do that much damage. Big Wayne Wilson is using all 260 plus of Wolverine's mm. bones to cook every TVA agent he came. And oh, nah, he just killed these niggas with fingers. And I'm not gonna lie, you can do a lot of things to me, but I refuse to be <laughs> done it by a pinky finger dog. 
at that point, we just gonna have to scrap actor to actor because this is crazy. But we end this segment off kind of what way getting circled around by a bunch of TVA guards. And he is just going through town with these makeshift nunchucks, cooking everybody in sight until his ass makes some scuffed Wolverine claws. He detracts them hoes, and before Ooh. we can see bro cook, yeah. we get thrown into a flashback. And in this flashback, yes. we see Wade talking to Happy, trying to join the. Event. But real, real stuff, man. That that intro has been one of the most creative, creative opening credits I've seen in a long time. Props to them doing that. Avengers. He also talks about Hulk masturbating. My friend said that he wanted to try this out, and I'm not gonna lie, I ain't talking to bro since. But Happy basically tells Wade that he's washed a bum, and that he should get his useless <laughs> ass up out of his office, cause he ain't never gonna amount to nothing in life. So now Wade goes back to his boring ass life of being a cars salesman. And oh, nah. This damn wig is crazy. Hey, right? And the way bro put it on, no stocking <laughs> cap, no wish me. Nah, I'm just stapling this bitch to my forehead. This is crazy. Yes. But it clocks off at work and him and Pete ride bikes back to Wade's apartment because it's his birthday. But hold on a second, man. Really thinking about it, bro. This man Wade basically saved the world last movie and his ass still got a clock in for a 9 to 5. Like, that's insane. Right. If I saved the world, man, that working shit is over for me. <laughs> I'm never doing a thing again. But bro, over here actively working a 9 to 5. Yeah, nah, I I boom myself. He was not getting that time out of me. I'm sorry. But as soon as Wade walks into his apartment, he gets thrown a surprise birthday party. He got all of the homies there, man. Vanessa, Kitty, Pride, Cyclops. He but I don't talk about it, man. Vanessa and Wade <laughs> done broken up, and now Vanessa's over here talking to other people, man. Who done let the Spider-Man comic book writers in the booth, man? This is crazy. Why <laughs> right? are you doing this to my goat for Man, real? I know. But my man was gonna blow out his candles. He got a knock on the door. He goes, and it's the TVA. Once he opened the door, the four niggas, we all Already knew what time away was on. He was trying to have a freak off. But the <laughs> right, right. wasn't having Come none of it. Ripped that nigga wig off and pushed his ass <laughs> through a portal. But when Wade wakes up, he's in front of Paradox. And Paradox is over here giving Wade his purpose, his reason to matter that he's been looking for for so long. Paradox tells Wade that his universe is in danger, and the sacred timeline's in danger too, so we gonna need you to save that hoe. They take Wade to get tailored for his new suit, and Wade is over here getting assaulted by Jack Black <laughs> Skinny, your cousin man. Lock this nigga up now, cause why did bro smack his ass so many times, dog? You are a criminal. You don't need to be free on the streets anywhere, bro. So once Wade walks out of the assault room... By the way, your tailor's a predator. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious though. That was hilarious scene when he sued it up. He's over here thinking that once he saves the sacred timeline, he'll be able to go back to his timeline all hunky dory like. But Paradox is like, nah, that bitch finna explode. Because <laughs> your anchor being Wolverine died like 14 years ago, man. But Wade really don't appreciate that. So you know what dog does? He smacks the portal remote out of Paradox's head and headbutts the piss out of dog. And once he goes through that portal, we go back to the beginning of the movie where he had the Wolverine claws. And oh baby, this nigga Deadpool starts piecing these boys up. Yep. He's cutting himself too because he don't really know how these claws work. But bro didn't stab this nigga in the balls. Hit him with this goddamn oh, complex, stab another nigga in the balls, and then just started going back and forth on these boys like a damn seesaw. But bro gets yes. interrupted from the violation of these two TVA agents. And old dude over here starts calling Deadpool all types of names, saying Logan was the only thing worth a damn to come out of Canada. So <laughs> Deadpool takes Wolverine's claws out of these two boys' rectums, takes his katana out, and goddamn ricochets that hole in his mouth. Yeah. And now we get a montage of Deadpool looking for Wolverine's so we can replace them for their anchor being and save his universe. And we see all types of Logans, man. We see Short Logan. We see Weapon Omega Wolverine. Mm -hmm. We see Patch. We see goddamn Henry Cavill Wolverine. Yep. Old Man Logan. We see Uncanny yep. X-Men Wolverine. And then we see Classic Brown Suit Wolverine versus Hulk. Oh yeah, these niggas was in their bag making this. Yeah, seriously, but Logan man. decides none of these niggas are going to be the anchor being because they either A, beat his ass or they're too preoccupied with somebody else beating their ass. Until Wade gets punched through another dimension, and this time this is the right Wolverine. But this, oh by the way, that comic accurate um, Wolverine had one of the biggest laughs. I mean, I was not expecting that. I had me rolling. That had me, who that had me crying and laughing, man. This nigga is drunk out of his mind. So he strips little bro of his clothes and takes him back to the TVA. So once Deadpool and Wolverine get to the TVA. Paradox is like, oh no, you silly ass goose, man. You can't replace an anchor being you dummy. 
And then Paradox prunes Deadpool and Wolverine before Deadpool can tell on Paradox because he is going off the books like crazy. They get dropped off in the wasteland and ooh baby, we all know what happens here. Deadpool laid the hell out on the ground, but Wolverine's yellow dusty ass walks over him, <laughs> picks his ass up with his claws, and starts interrogating bro. And I don't know when Wolverine peeked that Deadpool did this to the other TVA agents, but he got his get back and stabbed his nigga in the oh. balls and cracked his spine over his knee. But Deadpool like, ain't no way the nigga let his whole universe go to shit talking to me <laughs> like that. And just like that, Zim's is fighting wars. The squabbles commence as Wolverine stabs Deadpool in the back and starts hoisting his ass up wow. over him. But Deadpool flips out of that and drops him and Wolverine down to the ground. Pulls out the blitz and just starts mad dumping in this nigga's ribcage. He tells Lord Bro, have you calmed down now? Well, Wolverine just had but he piss at a dead man. Scooped his ass up and threw his ass through a damn wall. Deadpool mm. gets up and these boys just start staring each other down. But we pan over to Wolverine. He's pushing the bullets out of his goddamn body as he's regenerating. Then he just starts smoking all one? Yep. Why is Wolverine the coolest nigga all time? <laughs> Rest in pieces, Fox, by the way. Deadpool and Wolverine ready their asses up for the upcoming fade. And look at the way this cool ass nigga Deadpool reloaded mm. his gun. And mm. he just busting shots at Wolverine. Look at the way <laughs> you this goofy fall. ass nigga is running at Deadpool. <laughs> Already frame one. Deadpool then pulls out his katana. They start going katana for claws, man. These boys is boxing. If seven-year-old me was watching this right now, he'd start crying. Because twenty-year-old me is watching this right now and crying. This <laughs> shit really peaked, man. Yeah. Deadpool and Wolverine clash though. But Wolverine his way with this nasty ass fake out. It looked like he was finna stab him with the claws again. He just retracted that whole hoop and punched the piss out of dog. Mm. Just to get this nasty ass five piece combo off on dog. Well, he took that shit personally though and stabbed bro right in his arm. Went around his ass, cut him in the back. Wolverine <laughs> got pissed. He just started swinging endlessly. And Deadpool took advantage of that. Dodge that swipe and stab bro right in his goddamn Adam's apple. Why are these boys fight like they hate each other? They just met each other three minutes ago. Beef is that, black, that freaking bitch is a bad dog, man. What the hell was that? <laughs> Not this serious, I promise you. Wade got his goddamn sword stuck in his Adam's apple, though, and tried to cut his ass with the other one. But Logan parried that hoe, and he tried to get these nasty-ass combo off of <laughs> Wade, but nah. Dog unlocked Ultra Instinct for a smooth five seconds and weaved each and every single one of his claw attacks. Wolverine said, damn, this not working, so he goes low and scratches Wade's shin a little bit, <laughs> and then they pull his bro with the, I don't even know what to call it, this goddamn Cyclone sword attack. But Wolverine parried all of them hoes just for the camera to start zooming out and we just see them boxing crazy stuff. I mean, they just really throwing hands for real. But Deadpool gets behind Logan and he stabs his ass right in the back. But he gets his sword stuck in this nigga's entire chest cavity. He dodges this two piece from Logan and then he stabs him in the abdomen, getting his other sword stuck in this nigga's stomach. And Wolverine, angry ass, still fighting. Nigga, take the swords out of your body, please. <laughs> but Logan almost cut this nigga Deadpool's head off with this slash, but bro, dodge out the way and hit him with these two clean ass kicks right to the mm. jaw. He then pulls out Baby Knife, stabs him in the shoulder, knife. and then Wolverine's like, alright, that's enough, little nigga, and headbutts the piss out of him. Bro. Deadpool starts to get up from having CG directly infused into his <laughs> brain, but Wolverine stabs bro right in the chest and was for to cut his head off. But Deadpool's ass starts telling Wolverine. He can fix it. This nigga lying. But the it <laughs> taking Wolverine back to his universe, but not only that, fixing the mistakes he made along the way. But in the distance arrive a bunch of old Marvel movie vehicles pre Iron Man 1. But mm -hmm. not only that, a nigga jumped down from the rafters like goddamn <laughs> Sting, and it's Johnny Storm. Yeah, Johnny I'm Storm. telling you, man, my entire theater is. Yes. Yes. Game, and who pulled up on them hoopties was goddamn Pyro from yeah, the X-Men movies. Yeah. But Johnny Storm says flame, flame on. flies up in the air. A lot of people thought it was, it was not Captain America, but when they, when he um Johnny Storm said flame on, everybody in my theater erupted. I'm like yo. So we really basically just like the Fox Marvel universe in the void. Tries to boom Pyro of all people with fire, yeah. and he just it, absorbed it that shit. As Johnny Storm's stupid ass just falls to the ground. Ooh. But not only that, goddamn 
Saber Tooth yep. blows up. The original and Wolverine saw Saber Tooth, mm-hmm. and you already knew it was on site. The original. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought these boys was gonna have a good ass little squabble. They did not, because nope. Wolverine and Saber Tooth start running at each other full force, and Wolverine Ooh. just. Clean cut. Your head off. That's it. That was the end of the fight. Yep. But Pyro mm-hmm. did not care about anything that just happened. He pulled out his <laughs> super ass magnet and magnetized Logan and way to that hole. As a big ass safety leg knocked them niggas the hell out. Mm. But Pyro done captured Johnny too. And when Deadpool wakes up, Johnny starts explaining what goes on in the void. And that the void is basically just some big ass dumpster. And Elias is the garbage man that comes and eats up all the trash. <laughs> but they finally get dropped off to where they supposed to go. And some bald nigga in a wheelchair start coming out Ant Man's big ball ass head. Chair. And Wade thinks it's Charles. And I'm not gonna lie, thinking every bald person in a wheelchair is Charles Xavier is kinda crazy. Like, what's going on with you, <laughs> real? That's gotta be some type of ist. I don't know which one, but there's probably one out there for the bald people. <laughs> yes. But this is Cassandra Nova. And all I gotta say is. Wood. <coughs> I played Wood on the back of her shit start going crazy, but that's besides the point. But Cassandra gets there, she starts chatting it up with Wade and Wolverine. And then Deadpool starts lying on Johnny's top. And what Deadpool said, Johnny said about Cassandra, I cannot put into words. So I'm just gonna play the voice clip for y'all. Like you said in the convoy, this finger licking, dead inside, <laughs> pixie slab of third rate dime store nut milk can eat your delicious cinnamon ring and kick rocks all the way to bald hell. <laughs> and then Cassandra Nova just sucks this nigga Johnny's oh, skin yeah. off. I need uh. that. But not in the way she just did to Johnny. Turn that nigga into meat and bones on the ground. What the hell? Yes. And this is all dip- That was absolutely nasty. <laughs> that was nasty, man. Oh, fuck. Uh. Bro just got him killed. But after she just completely lost <laughs> Johnny like that, she starts chatting with Wolverine and Wade again. But Wolverine's like, what am I doing listening to her? If I don't do that, I punch niggas in the mouth. So he pulls up on Shorty just to get pulled into the ground and drug across that bitch. Yes. She then starts pulling up on Deadpool and Deadpool's like, hold on that second there, Playboy. I do not want any smoke. problems with your ass. But Cassandra don't care about anything Way got going on. Mm-mm. She pulls up behind his ass and puts her hands through this nigga's face and starts tickling little bro's brain like, what is going on? She starts scrubbing through Way's memory files and making Vanessa say things she ain't never <laughs> said to Way. So after getting mentally violated the way he <laughs> made, violated. pulls out his knife and he's ready to run their hands with Cassandra now. But she's like, you gonna need something a little bit bigger than that. And <laughs> Then Wolverine pulls up behind her and stabs her right in the back. And just when this shit's in giggles, he throws his knife directly into yes. Cassandra Nova's chest. But her ass starts giggling, pushes Wolverine and Deadpool's knife out of her body. As Elias starts pulling up and Deadpool and Wolverine like, damn, this is crazy. We got a blast. As they yeah. on the city leg and fly up out of there before Piss. Elias can get them. But once Deadpool and Wolverine make it out of there, they find this tore down ass shop trying to get some vittles. But Wolverine's ass was not looking for food. He needed alcohol and <laughs> he couldn't find any. So you know what this nigga started drinking? Actual rubbing yes, alcohol. Oh. Like, you have a problem, <laughs> dog. Wait and load the dip up out of the restaurant. Dang, no, right? that's it. dog pulling. I'm not gonna lie. You need to get this nasty ass dog out of my face right now. Bro, <laughs> looks like you drink out of a septic tank. This nigga is nasty looking. But following dog pool is nice. Nice pool, and that's the owner of Dog Pool. And Nice Pool, being the nice guy he is, gives Logan and Wade a car and tells them to head north. Y'all know he to the base to where everyone else they got dropped up in the void is at. And Deadpool is over here pissing Logan the hell off. <laughs> yeah. Right until Logan snaps and he just breaks down <laughs> Deadpool's entire character. Actually, shut this nigga the hell up for once. But that whole. It was an educated wish. Come and piss Deadpool off, and he's like, I'm gonna punch you now. As he clocks Wolverine Damn. right in the mouth. And oh boy, these boys yes. stop boxing. They is throwing the craziest hands up at oh. in the oh. all ass car. Until Deadpool kicks Wolverine out of the front window. These Damn. men is just too violent, man. Beating the absolute dog piss out of each other. Yes. Getting all this pent up aggression and rage out of their systems. They was beating each other's ass so hard in this car, and then switched to the next damn day. Yes. But their car gets found and driven off to where they were going in the first place. As Deadpool wakes up, and of course, the first thing this nigga Logan doing in the morning is drinking alcohol. But then someone comes through the door, and it's Electra. Yep, Electra. It's Electra from the damn Daredevil yep. movie. What the hell? And then yes. Blaze big black ass come through the door. Yes. And that's, oh yeah, this is the greatest movie all time. Yes. Not only the freaking fat Wesley Snipes came back as Blade. Out of nowhere, was like, okay, what the actual hell? 
that nigga we see Channing oh, Tatum yes. Gambit and then finally you see X and Jennifer Gardner I already knew Jennifer Gardner was going to be in Deadpool Ring it, it had like an announcement and whatnot. but Channing Tatum Gambit also had the biggest pause too because I know you wanted his movie for so long until towards Touching Fox just shove it out you know just shove it in the toilet just didn't care for it 23 Laura from the Logan movie yep. but Deadpool starts trying to get these niggas on the same team so they can form a plan to get out of there because him and Logan been in Cassandra's lair and they made it out while them other niggas is like wow that's crazy because everybody else that went there them is gone but Wade rallies everybody together and y'all I just gotta play this clip for y'all I ain't know my daddy but I'm sure I <laughs> shot out of his dick Jesus Christ, that is graphic. Why did this <laughs> nigga say that? But now we got everybody. <laughs> that is one of the most funniest parts, though. On board, except for Logan. So his ass leaves the house and starts drinking his songs away. While Laura pulls up on dog and they start having to talk all father and daughter style. Mm -hmm. But the day passes, and I'm not gonna lie, this probably gotta be one of the hardest squads all time. Deadpool, Gambit, Electra, and Blade with Laura X23 chilling too. Like, who really messing with these boys for real? But Blade pops up out of the sunroof and blows a big ass hole through Ant-Man's big ass hands as they pull up and y'all already know man I'm just gonna play the clip you know how long I've been waiting for this Channing Tatum was having so much fun playing yeah seriously he was see this nigga be gambit more because everything bro said was hilarious yes so now he got the whole squad out everyone besides Logan and Wade start hooping. I mean, these boys are absolutely boxing. Yes. I love the fact that like, when they were driving to, to Cassandra's Lair, they actually played Bring Em Out and the, the music original score mixed to that. I love that. Love that remix. Well, Logan the way pull up on Cassandra Nova. Wait for them to deliver Juggernaut's helmet. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be talking about Gambit a lot, bro. Because they did this nigga damn near perfect in this movie. To the power of the costume, yeah, man. They hit that shit out of the park. Damn. The way that Logan finally make it inside Ant-Man's head. We see gang pull up stopping anybody else from going Going in there. And hey, hold on a second, I got something for y'all. Yeah, some of the still trying to ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, this is why Blade the GOAT for real. Yes. So I Wade and Logan finally get to Cassandra Nova. And Wade's like, look, man, I just want to go home. Sandra just whimsically violates Wade. I yes. mean, she just pointed at bro, threw his ass <clears> up in the <throat> air, dropped him in the ground, spun him around a little bit, and then throw his ass to Damn. the side. If that was me, I might have given up after that, because that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Wolverine was right next to Dog watching it happen, like, whoa, that's, a, that's crazy. And he then tried to boom Cassandra, but she just made him stab himself with his claws, and then she stuck the holes in the ground. As we go over to Blade and Gambit, and Blade is over here cooking these boys. And I ain't gonna lie, I just now peeped that he was boxing Mephisto. I'm pretty sure. At least that nigga looks like him. But no, I don't. He was rotted niggas, making. It's that character from X-Men First Class, Azale. What's his name? And them explode. And Laura done cut Juggernaut's ankles in half. But we go back to Cassandra oh. and Logan. And she over here inserting her finger in this nigga brain. We all know she don't give consent to nobody before she starts violating <laughs> the memories. But her ass is over here digging deep into Logan's memories. Having Logan tell Cassandra exactly what it is he did to make everyone hate him in his universe. And not only did he get his X-Men killed for not being there, this nigga just went on a murderous rampage killing everybody. The bad humans and the good ones. Mm. And she's over here like, hey man, I can make the voices stop if you come join me. But <laughs> Laura then threw her backpack up there and Deadpool got it. And right before Logan could say or do anything, my main man Wade Wilson puts Judge Helmet yeah. on her chrome dome, stopping her powers from working completely. But as this helmet is on her head, Wolverine starts telling her, hey, send us the hell back home. And she's like, I can't send you home with this helmet on my head, stupid. Yes. Right before they can make a decision to take her helmet off, Pyro's bitch ass pulls up and he just dumps four in her ass. Then his ass starts monologuing, but Wolverine cuts his ass the hell off by jarring the mess out of him. Yes. But Wolverine tells Wade to take the helmet off. And Cassandra pulls out a Doctor Strange ring and she makes a portal for them to dip. And as Deadpool- Not everyone gets a speech. Wolverine are dipping out of there. We see Laura, Gambit, Electra, and Blade just getting cooked and violated as a life pulls up, assumingly mm. packing those boys up. Once Deadpool and Wade get to Wade's dimension, Paradox pulls up and is like, What are y'all doing here? Y'all supposed to be dead. You're ruining my yes. plans. But Cassandra Nova pulls up too, and with Pyro, because Pyro done told her exactly mm. what's been going on the fact that he's been running deals with Paradox and the whole time for business as well. So, you know, as soon as she got to Wade's universe, she broke this nigga oh. and tossed his ass back to the void like the piece of trash he is. But then after that, 
like he starts tickling Paradox's brain, learning everything oh. about the Time Ripper. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't with that butt, that butt dog, <laughs> with the dog out. I can't, I can't, man. These pictures are just freaking. Oh, wait, this bitch is hilarious. And as Logan and Wade were on their way to stop her, she just blows them boys back. And then she drags her about back down to the GTA so she can use the Time Ripper. And not only that, she opens up a portal and she's like, reinforcements on the way. But first comes out to bat, it's this nasty yuck mouth ass dog. He's you. And what quickly follows after is Nice Boy. Not only Nice Boy. Where's Ungus dog, by the way? But hey, look, I, I like no, dog pool. She was cute. Well, we see about 14 dozen other Deadpool variants. Yep. And Lady Pool looking kind of, <laughs> you know what I'd say. But all the Deadpool start busting shots mm -hmm. at Deadpool. And you know what way he does? He uses Nice Pool as a shield to not get hit by any of the bullets. Deadpool then asks him how long it takes him to regenerate. And Nice Pool's like, Regenerate? I can't do that, big dog. Mm, and this yeah. evil ass nigga Deadpool yes. just starts staring at Nightfall. There is no nice thoughts going through his head right now. As he gets back up and uses him as a meat shield to go to the other side of the street. And then he stops in the middle, starts gaslighting the hell out of Damn. Nice Pool until a dog gets his head blown off. Uh -huh. And he finishes running to the other side of the street. God this damn. Is evil ass nigga, uh -huh. Wolverine follows after, but he just uses dog pool as a meat shield. And every yes. single Deadpool ever shares the same singular brain cell. They all awesome, start man. firing as soon as they see dog pool. Wolfie gets to that side of the street, and Deadpool already done robbed Nice Pool of his golden 50 cal pistol. This nigga is terrible. But <laughs> Deadpool and Wolverine both get to the middle of the street and they stand 10 toes in front of 40, 11,000 Deadpools. And for the first time in X Men live action movie history, yeah. we see this nigga, Wolverine, yes. put on his cow. Yes. Yeah, man, this Ooh, shit means so to me, man. Like, golly. That jump. Finally. Oh, um, looks amazing, too. Like, why was it holding out for so long? Seriously, man. But we all know it's gonna happen. Deadpool and Wolverine ready up and they star boxing. I'm talking about Mika 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 all in the street. So much is going on. I don't think I can commentate each and every hand mid squabble going on. But just know the Deadpool don't got enough smoke for Logan and Wade because they are absolutely violating yep. these boys. Over here doing these boys dirty like they was doing. That one shot was freaking amazing, man. That one shot was absolutely amazing. Them kids dirty and it's always sunny. And none of these Deadpools got enough smoke for Deadpool Prime and Wolverine until Super Sentai Deadpool pushes Wade and Logan back. And then the rest of the Deadpools just start ganging up on him. But if y'all thought that that was going to be enough to stop Wade and Logan, y'all got another thing coming to y'all because they just start cartoonishly pushing these niggas back by slicing, <laughs> slicing these boys in half. They over here boxing these boys so hard, pushing them all the way back until they get to the bus, and they are just clearing out this bus and punching every single Deadpool with maximum efficiency. They is absolutely cooking these niggas until they hop out of the bus and pause. This probably somebody's screensaver right yes. now as we speak. But oh, that's gonna be my screensaver too soon. So. <laughs> oh, nah, Nice Pool was the only Deadpool that couldn't regenerate. These other niggas most definitely can. They all get up, getting ready yep. to run the smoke one more time. But out of the goddamn cut comes Peter. Peter, and every single Deadpool has a Peter. So they see Peter, and they're like, you know what, Wayne and Logan, y'all got it, big dogs. My fault. <laughs> and just like that, they won. So now Wade and Logan pull up inside the TVA and Cassandra Nova's over here absorbing the Time Ripper. And Paradox said if she finishes what she is doing, she will have the power to destroy every universe ever. But in order to stop it, one of them has to give up their life. Because although Wolverine and Deadpool might be invincible, this tears them down on a dark matter level and they can't come back from that. So Wolverine decides to go and Wade's like, damn, that's crazy, can't let that happen. Hits his ass inside the head with a fire extinguisher and goes by himself. Because this is his purpose. This is how he thinks he can matter. So Deadpool goes inside that room and tries to connect these cores to stop Cassandra from absorbing the Time Ripper. His ass is over here struggling. He ain't finna make it to that other coil before Cassandra absorbs the full ass thing. But just in the nick of time, my goat Wolverine pulls up, grabs yep. Wade's hands, and connects to the other coil. And the power of friendship wins the day. And oh, no, look at Cassandra ass. <laughs> but they foil Cassandra's plans, stripping the Time Ripper away from her ass. Hey, blew her ass to smithereens. And that's really 
the end of the movie, man. Logan helped Wade save his universe. <laughs> while Wade asked him if he could come and stay in his universe. And not only that, they saved Laura. So now Logan and Laura could be happy in Wade's universe. But that's really the video, man. If you're ever in a predicament where you gotta fight 14 other variants of yourself, make sure you come out on top, or else you're not like that for real. <laughs> but other than that, yeah. if you like, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here. Bye. He has risen, baby girl. All right, W recap, cool or no W recap? But yeah, seeing seeing this man, I was like, okay, I really want to see that Wolverine once again, man. I really want to see this again because I had such a freaking amazing time watching this in in IMAX. Like, holy crap. I hands down has to be the best movie experience I've seen since and uh, since no since no Spider No Way Home. I, I was gonna say Avengers Endgame, but Spider No Way Home was really the last movie that I've had such a great time in the movie with the audience. Like God, dog man, freaking freaking amazing, freaking amazing man, <laughs> freaking amazing. I could I I tried to contain my laughter with that that dog with that um. The dog, the black dog was taking down his tongue on not that picture. I was like, what the hell was that? What the hell is he getting all these pictures from? <laughs> but that was hilarious, man. That was hilarious. That was recap, Kuhl cool Keep on the great work. So, squad, that is my conclusion on my heartbreaking recap reaction to Kuhl cool Nine's Deadpool Wolverine recap. So, enjoy this, please. Hit like button, comment, share your thoughts. Have you seen Deadpool Wolverine? How many times have you seen it? And, um, yeah, man. What's your favorite part of Deadpool Wolverine? Well, there's a lot of favorite parts. What's your favorite part, particularly? So, all squad, I'm going to call it quits for today. I was going to do my uh, recaps today, but I am tired. I just got from work after a long ass day, and it's been nuts. It's been nuts. I was going to do the last one today, but I got tomorrow and Thursday because I got no homework to get done. I got no homework because I did it before this week, before this week and I got no homework to get done. And... I got nothing else to do. So, Hot Squad, this your man, Taurus Hot, sign out for today. I will see y'all tomorrow. Continue on with my Heart Mega Recap Marathon. Safe out the sky. Peace out. Have a great day. Hot Squad forever.